Okay, so um, rather than use a plastic one, I decided to go to the whole hog and make up an aluminium vaporizer unit. So uh, just a quick throw together of at work. I'm not an aluminium welder by any means, uh, self-taught really. So uh, hopefully there's no leaks. What we've got to do first, of course, is um, cut the lid out the top and um, I'll smooth all this face off here and we'll screw a piece of perspex down on top so we can see what's going on in there and I'll have to get inside there of course anyway uh, have our box of goodies here to make our vaporizer unit now this one here um, split up the bowl and that off a carby and this carby is going to be bolted on the inside down near the bottom um, and that's going to act as our fuel level meter. So we need this one to keep the fuel level in the vaporizer at a constant and two we still want to be able to use our 100 mil fuel gauge. So um, our gauge up the back there of course wherever it is, oh, it's right behind it, um, this will keep this topped up at a certain level whatever level is determined by that float um, valve and um, <clears throat> once again we'll be able to see how long it takes to use 100 ml of fuel through our vaporizer system so that's the reason we're doing it this way with a uh, float and a set level in the tank which is the way it should be because if, as your level gets higher or lower um, the uh, fuel to air ratio is going to change if we're ever trying to get it to run right. Um, if our fuel level is kept at a constant and the vacuum required to pull the air below that fuel level and then back up through it um, will remain the same. As we know as if the fuel level get, gets higher, as it gets higher it's going to require more vacuum to pull the air through the fuel. So if we keep it at a constant level, once we're adjusted um, the carburetor governor should take care of the rest I'm hoping. Um, to do our adjustments we have two gate valves. Now I bought gate valves, most people use ball valves. I'm using gate valves because um, we can adjust them much, uh, much uh, to a finer degree and then a ball valve. Ball valves are just too imprecise. So I'm going to get going and uh, cut the top out, mount our carby inside um, run with the lines, get it all set up and we'll come back and have a look at the finished product. Okay, so our unit, our vaporizer is uh, basically finished. Um, run through it here. That is the air inlet to the vaporizer. You can see it's going to run through that tube with all the little holes in it. Um, I'm going to put some steel wool around that as well uh, to stop any uh, splashing of our um, gasoline in there. Uh, our carby in there which has the bowl off um, is just being used as a float valve so our fuel level will come up to a certain height and stop. That will be the fuel level we start with and um, then our 100 mil fuel tank will keep our vaporizer at the same level perspex top so we can see what's going on in there. Um, this one here is our uh, vapor um, valve so we can adjust um, the amount of vapor going into the system and this one here is just our air valve. Might even put an air filter on the back of that as well as a filter on top of this one. Um, and then those two carry on through these flexi PVC pipes and go into our mixer um, that is a clear perspex cap as well but you can't see in there because of the reflection of the light um, but they're cut on an angle both tubes like that so as they mix together inside what used to be our air filter box um, before entering our carby which is just going to be used as the um, throttle valve or butterfly valve and uh, 
fuel is turned off, fuel line is disconnected. So there will be no fuel in that. We will drain whatever's in there out. Um, the black line you can see here, of course, is our fuel line here, which will get plumbed up to our 100 mil fuel tank. So uh, that is our system so far. Basically um, ready to go. I'll just take the cap off again, clean all our uh, swarf and that out from the inside, make it nice and clean. Um, and that's basically it. And then we'll uh, run a bit of silicon around the edge of our thing, our lid, and uh, screw it all back together. But um, that's our vaporizer unit, so we can adjust um, both our vapor and air independently, um, very finely with these gate valves. So once we got those two right, um, I'm hoping that the motor will rev up and down quite fine and just suck in the mixture that it needs. So uh, yeah, it's a matter of getting the balance right and then the motor should operate as normal uh, without touching these anymore. And because our fuel level inside a vapor tank is going to remain at a constant level, um, we should be okay. Should be all self-adjusting. All right, so uh, first run coming up uh, tomorrow morning. It's about uh, 10.30 here now, p.m. So um, I haven't even had a meal yet. I'm going to have some dinner, a nice hot shower, jump into bed, kick back and watch a bit of telly. So tomorrow we get the answers we seek. We'll see if it's any more efficient um, than what we already have running the motor on vapour instead of uh, using the good old carby. Thanks for watching guys and uh, we will see you soon.